Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to On Your Mark with Mark E. Extreme, the undisputed and undefeated backyard wrestling entertainment world champion. And here with me, I am super excited because this guy is, he's awesome. Mr. Kazarni Sinbaudi Stoke. Bodhi. Sorry. Bodhi. Sorry. Can I still get a high five? Earn it. So, first question. Thank you for being here, first of all. It's not and, a question. Well, that was... Okay. Ooh. So, so you really were in the circus. I thought it was yeah, just no. a... I kind of thought it was just no. a part of your game. Kizarni is the only thing that was finagled and given to me by Vince McMahon. And all the other Sinbodi, all the World Order weird stuff, that is legitimately me. <laughs> Growing up, both my parents were black belts, so I learned my manners the hard way. My dad had a black belt, and he just would hit beat me with it. That's awesome. Oh. You're you do tattoos, right? I do. What tattoos, is, I'm thinking about getting a tattoo. Thinking about it, my girlfriend. Don't hurt yourself. What's that? What are you thinking of getting? I I was gonna ask you. What do you think a guy like me should get? Really? Um, get a right douche right across your back. What do you think of that? Old English. I I don't like that. You don't like that? Mm -hmm. Call me. Sucker McGee, I'm why, why don't you come back to the WWE? It's been like, I really liked when you were there. Well, um, that's politics and that's just the powers that be. And you know, if they wanted me there, I think if they wanted any wrestler there, the wrestler would go there. And if they didn't. Is it because you don't like John Cena? I mean, aside from him having two left feet, I don't really have a problem. <laughs> I mean, because he's a clumsy little shit. He's clumsy. Um, I mean, I, th I think on one hand, I think he does a lot of cool things with like all his Make-A-Wish stuff and everything. But when I met him, I mean, he was always kind of a... You think he wants to be whatever. there with those kids? No, I don't know. Could, do you think you could hook me up with some carnival tickets? <laughs> I might be able to uh, arrange that. Sweet. And a soda butt, I mean, a soda block to D-Man. Do you, you work out a lot? Yeah. Yeah? Have you done the shake weight? I have not done the shake weight. No, I just- It uh, completely changed my life. Yeah, I yeah. have no doubt. You should keep on practicing that with that if you do want to pursue a career in WWE, I will tell you that. All right. Yeah. Scott Hall follows us on Twitter. Who's the coolest wrestler you've ever drank with? Like had a beer ski with? I don't drink, I'm more or less a straight what? edge guy. Yeah. That usually freaks out people after they see me like drink boiling water and thumbtacks or get darts thrown at my back or get sizzled up in an electric chair. They're pretty freaked out when they realize I'm doing that sober. Are you, are you the devil? I am not the devil, but I do know him. He is on speed dial. I have Jesus in my heart. I... Well, if you go to WWE, you might have somebody else in some other place, so. Okay, all right. All right, like, you got it. Oh, God! <laughs> This is uh, um, this has been a great time. I'm gonna go say I'm gonna go say my prayers. Be sure to watch the next episode of On Your Mark with Mark E Extreme. I want to thank Mr. Sinbaudi for Bodie. Bodie. Hey, you're mic'd, right? Chop sure would sound good. I don't. Sure would sure would sound don't. good. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you. I was thoroughly impressed with Mark, and by impressed, I mean totally not impressed. Um, I don't know, I was kind of sizing him up. I, I could see the stuff kind of hanging out of his shirt. He looked kind of like he was built like a bag of milk, really, to tell you the truth. That's why I think I, I, I was off a bit on his, on his poundage when he asked me to guess his weight, you know? Like, and I would, I would have guessed a little bit higher, but not for the right reasons. You know, muscle weighs more than fat, and I think I, I would have just called it way off, but. You think he's got a bright future in professional wrestling, though? Uh. Well, hey, with, with the way Vince, Vince's uh, billion dollar ADD goes, you just never know. He did book the gobbledygooker. He did book Kazarni, so hell, I don't know.